Good morning. This is part one of our lesson on directing peer analysis um, for our narrative poems. Our students have been directed to um, not memorize, but to emphasize and put in beats and perform narrative poems, even for Poem in the Pocket Month, even um, without memorizing them. So we've set up our stage so that it looks like an intimate space black box theater thrust stage, so that there are people on risers surrounding our main actor. And there they are. And we've talked about lighting and how actors need to step into the light. And we've talked about how uh, technical theater people spike the stage, such as that. Khadija, can you move over just a little bit so we can see the spike? There you go, you were standing right on it. And that's generally where an actor should be standing. We also talked about proscenium arch theaters that are like a regular auditorium in a school where the stage looks like a picture frame and the audience is on one side and the characters are on another. Depending on the type of stage that we're on is depending on how the actor has to play to an audience. So an, uh, an, uh, an awareness of audience is really important. So in this type of setting, it's really a very intimate setting. It's like a thrust stage where the stage comes out into the audience. So today's job uh, in part one is for Khadija to read her narrative poem and for Sabine to give her critical analysis. Sabine will be acting as a peer evaluator or in this case, a director. So um, after Khadija is finished, Sabine will give some advice to her um, as we watch them both do this, and then Khadija will re revise based on the advice that Sabine as a director gives. Okay, so here we go, end scene. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. His underwear is hanging on the lamp, his raincoat is there in the overstuffed chair, and the chair is becoming quite mucky and damp. His workbook is wedged in the window. His sweat has been thrown on the floor. His scarf and one ski are beneath the TV, and his pants have been carelessly hung on the door. His pants are all jammed in the closet. His vest has been left in the hall. A lizard named Ed is asleep in his bed, and his smelly old sock has been stuck to the wall. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. Donald, or Robert, or Willie, or huh? You say it's mine? Oh dear, I knew it looked familiar. Okay, good job, Khadija. So Sabine, if you could step into the spotlight with her, please, and give her some good basic tips about how she could be most effective with the audience based on the poem that she just read. Okay. Louder, please, so that the camera can hear you. <laughs> Khadija, you did really good, but I think that you should have practiced more before you said it, kind of as you stuttered a little bit, and you need more eye contact with the audience. But overall, you did really good. Thank you. Okay, and so from this director's perspective, that was terrific, Sabine. You gave two really good ideas. And from this director's pr uh, perspective, here's what I'd like to offer as well. One, please move around the stage a little bit. You don't have to stay on the spike the whole time, but stay inside that light, okay? And take a few more pauses to make it effective. You went through it really well, but you went through it a little bit quickly, and in theater we call that railroading because it sounds like a train. It goes So what you really want to do in order to be conversational is to do it that way. Okay, can can you try it again, giving keeping some of those things in mind? Okay. And scene. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. His underwear. Are, on, are hanging on the lamp. His raincoat is over there in the overstuck chair. The chair is becoming quite mucky and damp. His workbook is wedged in the window. His sweat has been thrown on the floor. His scarf and one ski are beneath the TV, and his pants have been carelessly hung on the door. His books are jammed in his closet. His vest has been left in the hall. His lizard named Ed is asleep in his bed, and his smelly old sock has been stuck to the wall. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. Donald or Robert or Willie, huh? You say it's mine. Oh dear, I knew it looked familiar. And scene. Good job, Khadija. Very, very nice. You made some improvements. Notice what she did. She added gestures. She moved around. She pointed to things on the stage. That's part of making it realistic. You want to know, in this particular case, that you're in a messy room. 
You want to make the facial expressions that go along with it. So in our, in our attempt to move forward before we have our final scenes, these are some of the things that we need to keep in mind. Adding facial expressions, gestures, movement within the spotlight like that knowing where center stage is, and having a partner who can really see those things objectively. Okay? Terrific job, Khadija and Sabine. Thank you.